They ate right through the thicket, thorns and all. You just keep your distance. I'm not your enemy. That's as may be, but I'm trusting no one. Did you discover anything? Perhaps I did, but I think I'll keep it to myself, if you don't mind. All right, I've had it. I need to find a way off this island once and for all, and the sooner the better. Fishing line? Yes, that would be strong enough to sew the silk sheets together. How is the parachute coming along? When it's done, I will let you know, Mr. Narapart. Thank you, Miss Brent. How is the parachute coming along? It's done, Mr. Narapart. That is all, Miss Brent. They don't get along. X. 
excellent, like hand in glove. I can't say I'm ecstatic about this enterprise, but here goes nothing. I didn't even come close to the mainland. Lucky that buoy was out there or I'd have drifted out to sea. There was a metal box affixed to it, quite recently from all appearances. It looked like some sort of homing beacon. Blast! I'm beginning to think this island is impossible to leave. I'd best return to the house to dry off before I catch my death. I don't want to do Owen's work for him. Quickly, someone! Miss Brent was screaming. It sounded like it came from the apiary. I'd better get moving. Those welts on her face. Horrible way to die. Will you gentlemen carry her back to her room? I don't feel quite myself. Six little sailor boys playing with a high. A bumblebee stung one and then there were five. Another rhyme fulfilled. But why? Why? Surely you don't believe all that rot about her innocence. No, but she was rightfully afraid of bees. Why would she come out here of all places? Maybe Owen carried her. From the front patio? In broad daylight? How could he be certain no one would see? And it'll take both of us to carry her back. There is something no one's thought of. What if Owen has an accomplice?